Welcome back to the news at five. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says the state may challenge the U.S. Supreme Court ruling requiring states provide a free public school education to all children. He made the comments in an interview with conservative talk show host Joe Pax when asked about educating immigrant children. Take a listen. The Supreme Court ruled against us uh, on the issue about denying uh, or let's say Texas having to bear that burden. I think we will resurrect that case. Uh, and, and challenge this issue again because the expenses are extraordinary and the times are different than when Plyler versus Doe was issued many decades ago. Our reporter Nikki Griswold is covering the story for the Austin American Statesman. We talked yesterday about the governor's comments. We just played a portion of the interview for our viewers, but I want you to add some context. Tell us about the comments the governor made on this radio show. Absolutely. So Governor Abbott brought up this suggestion that the state of Texas could potentially challenge a 1982 Supreme Court decision that required states to provide free public education for all kids, regardless of their immigration status. Now, he brought that up in response to questions from the show's host who suggested that kids who were um, children of undocumented immigrants were placing a quote unquote burden on the public education system. And he asked the governor what he was prepared to do about that. That's when the uh, Abbott made those comments. And he has not clarified exactly what action he might take, but it definitely sparked outrage among uh, Democrats and education uh, advocacy groups. These comments, I think, also really point to a larger conversation some are having about that potential that the Supreme Court could overturn its previous rulings in light of this Roe v. Wade draft. Talk to us about that. Absolutely. I've heard from, um, you know, civil rights advocates who say that they're very concerned that, you know, the indication the Supreme Court has given in that draft opinion that was leaked shows that, you know, they are amenable to uh, reversing set precedent and you know, the concern is that that could extend to other issues, including, you know, LGBTQ rights, um, same sex marriage included in that. Um, and so this is another possibility that makes civil rights advocates really anxious that, you know, potentially the the justices on the high court could be um, amenable to an argument reversing this decision. But like I said, that would be a very uphill battle um, for uh, the state of Texas to to embark on. That's something we'll continue to watch, and I'm sure you will continue to watch as well. Nikki Griswold, reporter for the Austin American Statesman, we thank you for your time. Thanks, Ashley. Now, if Texas were to challenge Plyer versus Doe, the attorney general would likely oversee the case. And as you know, A.G. Ken Paxton is headed to a runoff election with Land Commissioner George P. Bush later uh, excuse me, George P. Bush later this month. I spoke with Bush today about his campaign and his thoughts on the governor's statement. Well, it's a, a novel legal approach. The estimate that I've seen is several billions of dollars of expense that illegals create for the Texas taxpayer. Uh, an overwhelming majority of that is truly in health care, not in education. Um, but the biggest magnet policy out there, I believe, is, the, is our open asylum laws. So that would be my priority uh, in terms of defeating magnet policies that are attracting people to our country in the wrong way as opposed to the responsible way which is to come here the legal way. And, and that allows for people to pay into the system and alleviate the concerns that Texas taxpayers have for funding illegal immigrant public education. Now, I reached out to Paxson's office for a comment about this and to his campaign to request an interview multiple times. No one responded. You can watch more of my interview with Commissioner Bush this Sunday morning on Texas This Week during KVU News Daybreak.